Hey everybody, Bayzad here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got another very exciting gene to tell you about. It's the new Japan Heritage Kasuri, the latest release part of the Naked and Famous Denim Fall Winter 2022 collection. As always, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, how they came to be, our thoughts and opinions, where you're going to be able to get a pair, some ASMR scratch tests, you name it, you're going to know it. So stick around all the way to the end of the video so you'll learn absolutely everything. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our versions and types of raw denim ramblings and content and such, and so that you stay up to date with all of our latest uh, content. Mm -hmm. That's, that makes sense. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Risa's going to get us started, as always, with the specs. Right. So Japan Heritage Kasuri is a 14 and a half ounce Japanese salvage denim. It's 100% cotton slubby denim. And on the outside, we, we got this dark indigo warp. And then on the inside, we got a very exciting multicolored Kasuri dyed yarns. And let's get into what Kasuri dyed yarns are. Right, so Kasuri dyed yarns are yarns that are dyed in sections. So for this denim, we took the white cotton yarns and we laid them out horizontally. And then we took a bunch of different colored dyes and those dyes were poured over in sections, one at a time, vertically across mm -hmm. the yarn. So when you unravel it, you get th this beautiful gradient tone of colors all on a single strand of yarn. Unlike a Grandrel yarn, which is a, uh, an, also a multicolor yarn, but what we do for that is we take two different colors of yarn and we twist them together to make one yarn. Here it's a single strand with this beautiful rainbow gradient throughout. And that's how we get this incredible color for the Japan Heritage Kasuri. Right. And Kasuri dyeing is a very traditional <laughs> Japanese dyeing method too. So this is perfect for this denim. Yeah. And like I said, the outside is a dark indigo classic looking denim. But if you get closer, look closer, and you can definitely see the multicolored yarns of the weft coming through. Right. So, you know, like you said, from far, harder to notice. Like in the video here, you can see I'm wearing the jacket. You might not notice the colors, but when you're looking at it, you know, from, from my distance, you'll start to see it a little bit more, but you'll also notice it a little bit more through the twill lines of the fabric. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice it, especially because this is made using a slubby yarn. So you've got those thick portions that have absorbed a lot of indigo and you have the thinner portions that have maybe absorbed a little bit less. And when you weave with it, the thinner parts, you'll see a little bit more of the color showing through those twill lines. And because the twill lines are less apparent through the thicker parts, you don't see it as much. And so it makes a really, really cool looking fabric on its own because, you know, somebody's going to notice that on your on your denim and they're going to be like, what's going on there? And then you can kind of flash a, you know, <laughs> flash a little pop of color there. So right. uh, it's a beautiful mix of uh, slubby yarns, low tension weaving. We've created this very artisanal style fabric, very reminiscent of hand woven fabrics. And that's what the Japan Heritage series has kind of always represented. And now we get to mix in, you know, the Kasuri series with the Japan Heritage, put it together to make like an uber naked and famous denim product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, so let's just go into the scratch test. Right. Just to hear that sloviness. So here we go. Scratch test. Mm -hmm. I think I can hear that that slow texture. Yeah, and you can hear the rigidness of this denim. It is 14.5 ounce, 100% cotton, very, very classic. And as far as fading goes, because I know this is going to be another question, the first thing some people might think is, is this denim gonna fade to like that rainbow color interior? Mm -hmm. And the answer to that is no, mm -hmm. right? And the reason why it doesn't fade to this is because of the rope dye method. And basically, as we've kind of explained before in other videos, like with the rainbow core, the red core, this denim starts with a white yarn mm -hmm. that is then indigo rope dyed. Mm -hmm. So you have a white center core yarn with layer and layer and layer of indigo on top. And as those layers fade away, it starts to reveal the center color of the, of, of the yarn. So this denim will fade from dark indigo to white, but through the twill lines, you'll see that undertone of color. So mm -hmm. as the denim becomes lighter, maybe that brighter tone will start to show a little bit more, but it won't fade to rainbow colors, say like the rainbow core denim mm -hmm. or the red core denim. And that's because for those fabrics, we started with a permanently dyed core yarn. So like a red yarn that was indigo dyed on top. So when those indigo colors faded away, it faded to red. So mm -hmm. here, I mean, you know, you do get a little bit of multicolors coming through, mm -hmm. but it doesn't fade in the same way that like a color core yarn would. Right. Right. 
different, very different kind of construction. Yeah, very different construction. You, you will notice just, you know, uh, if you rip or tear the fabric, mm -hmm. that's when you'll start to see those colors kind of mm -hmm. really popping through the fabric because mm -hmm. you've broken away the warp yarns and now you're exposing the weft yarns. Right. Right. So it's going to be very exciting to see mm -hmm. how you guys can fade this yeah, down. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. These are going to be available in the Super Guy, the Weird Guy, and the Easy Guy. So our three traditional men's wear fits. And of course, we've got the denim jacket, which I'm wearing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be available at select naked and famous denim retailers worldwide. We've got a blog post linked in the description below here. Uh, so you can see a full retailer availabil availability listing with all the different fits that they have. So if you're ever looking for something specific, you're going to be able to find it right there. Mm -hmm. So uh, always, always check the blog post. And we've got some great macro photography too let's, uh, let's uh, get in let's yeah. get into the details so uh up first uh you're gonna notice the veg tan leather patch here and we love using veg tan patches because they fade and age just like the denim does on the inside we have our classic silver metallic hardware with the jetador tout new on the rivets and naked famous denim on the buttons uh we've got uh, uh contrast stitching and the selvage id is perhaps it's hard to say a favorite, you know, some, a lot of people ask us like, what's your favorite jean you've ever made? And anyways, it's, I always find it hard to answer, but for this one, is this my favorite selvage? This is pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Like it's you got, can, you, yeah, you, you go ahead. <laughs> so it's got the pink, uh, selvage ID tickers and then that, but even on the white part, you can see the left colors yeah. on white, which is like a very cute, you know, multicolored nappy kind of look. Yeah, this beautiful color. You've also got like the artisanalness of the Japan heritage fabric. Like mm -hmm. the selvage ID isn't particularly uniform. It's kind of fat and, you know, wavy in some parts. So it's such a really cool selvage ID. It, it, very nerdy yeah, detail, very nerdy but detail. if you are into that kind of details, I think you can appreciate yeah. it. So anyways, l let me know uh, what you guys think of the Selvage ID in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that said, um, I think that's everything. I think, that's, I think that's everything. So yeah. if you have any questions about the Japan Heritage Kasuri, don't forget you can uh, leave us a comment in the comment section below or you can join us Fridays right here on YouTube for our weekly live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern. In fact, if you tune into these live streams, you get to see all kinds of previews, which you, uh, I mean, if you if you watch, you would have known about the Japan Heritage Kasuri. Japan Heritage Kasuri a long, long time ago. So we do a lot of great previews on uh, on the channel there. So you definitely want to tune in. And uh, with that said, uh, I think I'm rambling on a little too much here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, right? uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, keep fading your jeans and uh, have a nice day. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.